used to tell me night when I went to bed. We loved each other more than all the stars in the universe. More than the moon herself. And I don't care if it's real or whatever we call real. I just want to go home. Look, uh, Olivia, I'm... Just... Just think about it, please. Letting me go? I guess she is. Why? Maybe she saw in you. Olivia, who am I to stop you, honestly? If you want to do this, if you really want to do this, go ahead. Olivia, tune the portal closed. When I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. Did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. I will, Olivia. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey, there you are. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the, uh, our environmental research staff is gonna be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The bird calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference, so great job. If you're curious, you can log into the school's website when you're home and see how we're updating the cuckoo's status. They're endangered in Oregon. The transmitters will track their migration patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list if it's warranted. But Evelyn, don't don't you don't you remember like everything that happened last night? The the, the ghosts, the teenagers, the dead ones, portals, just everything? Uh no, I don't remember you telling me anything about ghosts or dead teenagers, no. After you went off to study cuckoos, I went home and had dinner with my sister. Maybe you told Leslie and you're confusing us? Did something happen? Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, before you get into it. Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. Uh, sure. Evelyn, whatever you guys need. I'll be available. Oh, great. Great. I'll let Leslie know. Well, thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus admissions office. Alan, uh, okay. Sounds good. It was nice to meet you, Evelyn. Give me a second. Take care, okay? Thank you. It was really nice to meet you too, Riley. Have a good rest of your visit. Over and out. First thing I heard this morning was my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little, I guess. Do you hate me? Of course I hate you. I was having a pretty uneventful month until you came along. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. I can't help but feel sad for her. I know it was her decision, but... 
still feels like giving up. If you give up something that holds no meaning to you anymore... No, I won't say that. But I will say she seemed content, and I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm uh, taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, um, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Whatever you say, kid. All right. I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. Hey, Athena! How are you, girl? <laughs> hey, where are you going? I think she likes you. She's not usually this friendly. Jacob! Hey, you, uh, know me, right? Yeah, from Kamina High? I'm kidding. Yeah, I remember. I know what happened. What we did. Oh, I'm still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday, right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, whew, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know I'd ever see you again. But Hey man, trust me, I'm happy to see you too. Oh good. <laughs> no, I, I I was just two minutes ago I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh, uh, this is Athena's time to do her uh business. We we call it business time. I uh need to thank you for not letting me go through the portal. I wasn't thinking rationally. I don't think. Hey, look, I'm just glad you think so, too. I was nervous you'd be pissed at me. No, no, never. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. And why that's a good thing. Pretty soon, anyway. Uh, the ghosts, I think, would be the most interesting part of that story, Jacob. Ah, uh, you'd think. But grandparents really only care about one thing, so... Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions, we have regrets, and we, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? I don't know if I'd say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about something, I don't know. But we were watching TV, her old black and white in her living room. It was just white noise, and she said something to me about waves about the ocean, how it was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it. Be comforted. Or... If you're listening to this, my name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much, you don't know me. You've never heard of me, you never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently, and 
the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's, um, a, a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and, um, thank you. have felt like a dream with what happened with Olivia. Charlie, I'm hanging up. Wait! I wish I could just take everything back. Everything I ever said about wanting to do it. Just, just don't call me again. I'm, my family's moving away anyway. Violet. Don't call, Charlie. I mean it. used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. Not a lot of people, just the hours are pretty strict. One afternoon a week, for now. I'd been pretty closed off until recently. But I've learned that people just are what they are. They come, they go. Life's just too short to worry about it, right? <laughs> 